and a stay at home mom. In today's video, we will be going on the Jean Lafitte Swamp Tour. It was very nice to just be sitting there on the boat looking around while listening to the tour guide. He was very informative. He even made his own little photo albums that they were passing around on the boat that we could all look at. This whole tour was about an hour and 45 minutes. I lost the footage to the ending on our way back. So just enjoy what you can. Instead of putting music over this, I will just leave it so you can hear the tour guide as well. Thanks for watching. It's a tight squeeze coming up ahead. It's gonna get a little water in a minute. And I'd like to welcome everyone out to Jean Lafitte Swamp Tours, the board Swamp Queen 4. My name is Jason. Gonna be a captain and a guide today. If you have any questions during the tour, feel free to ask. It's hard for me to hear the ones in the front. If you have a question up there in the front, you might have to walk back in and ask it. You can walk around, you can stand up. I just ask that no one stands on the benches or sit on the rails. I'll tell you a little bit about the boat. The boat has been Coast Guard approved. This life jacket's located below the seats for easy access. It should be right here, left somewhere, so we're getting close. Oh, there it is. I think that was him. Where? Oh, wow. Jump in the boat. It's about a four foot gator. You see the tail? That's half that length of the tail. I'm sure the tail is about two foot long right now. Yeah, probably somewhere around eight to ten years old. There's no way to give an exact age. It just depends on how much they eat is how fast they're going to grow. They don't quit growing. Yeah. Chance of us seeing an alligator? I'm going to let you know when I see one. We're going to come up on some in a few minutes. This isn't Disneyland, this is nature. Now these animals are plastic, hydraulic, or mechanical. And when we come up on the alligators, you just be careful leaning on these rails. One of them's broken, and I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> you feel like you're going overboard, take someone with you. Don't go by yourself. Take someone slower than you with you. We'll pick up whatever's left of you. There's a bald eagle's nest to my left right here. Top of the cypress tree in that far background. On the other side of the flower line. In the middle of the tree, those branches yeah. fall. That large nest is a bald eagle's nest. Yeah, wow. I'll see him again right in the beginning of May. So I won't see him again until around October. From around October to the early May is when I see these eagles. A bald eagle has the largest nest of any bird in North America. A bald eagle uses the same nest every year. They add one to two feet a year to their nest. Their nest can get two to three tons. The largest nest ever recorded was found in Florida. It was 20 feet deep and weighed almost three tons. Oh yeah. Seems 
probably about a four and a half foot gator. Probably a little bit bigger than that last one you saw. Not, not by much. They hide the sexual organs. You have to examine them to determine the sex. A female alligator rarely gets eight feet, rarely gets 200 pounds. Males, you have bigger ones. It's internal. They hide the sexual organs. Get ready. This should be another one right here, a little small one. It should be about a four foot or somewhere around this area. The trees in that far background to my left, that moss hanging from them, those are the bald cypress. That's the Louisiana state tree. A lot of cabins, boats on the bayou I'm from, they're built from cypress trees. The benches you're sitting on right now are made from cypress. Some of those old houses in the French Quarter were built from cypress. The water preserves the wood if that tree falls underneath this water, stays underneath yeah. this water. You come back.
Yeah, you see that? <laughs> Spread out. Mm -hmm. All right, we got lucky. One drink. 
Baby, right there. Now, I don't. I know we don't see Mama, but if you really want to see Mama, you go grab that baby. Right there. This is one that last Mama and Mama are here behind the boat. See, I told you, Mama's around here. She's watching us. He jumped in the water right here. She's coming after you. And the reason is, is she's protecting these little babies right now. You come back here in your boat and you get right here where we're at. You're gonna hear her hissing at you. That means leave me alone, stay away. It's a warning sound. She's telling you something's not right. You ignore the hissing sound. She thinks you're a threat to him. She might come in that boat with you. She's gonna protect the little babies. She will not hiss at this boat. The reason why she will not hiss at this boat, she sees this boat four times a day, seven days a week since she was born. She can care less about this boat. She knows 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, she's going to hear these same stories. You don't see any up there in the front? You come back here tonight, you shine the spotlight, you find all 30 of them. They have crystals in their eyes that reflect red. It's like red reflectors on the waterway at nighttime. They're really easy to see at nighttime. Thank you.